Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of Siberia. Last time out, we basically busted the game somehow and, uh, and caused Momo to wander off into the distance infinitely. This time, hopefully, we're Must not going to get into that problem. I've get a help now, I've uh, rerun through where we'd got up to, um, and I've resaved the game just before these events took place. So we're going to ask Momo for help again and see if we can find a way to open that sluice and get that mammoth toy. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Momo listening. Uh, help, please. Can you help me, please? What do? Help me open the dam. Um... Momo strong. Momo strong. Interesting. Kate describes it as a dam. I would call it a sluice. Comment below. What do you think this is? What is this called from your point of view? Like, what even is the difference between a dam and a sluice? Oops. Okay, well, here we go. Well, we are able to make much better progress now. So we've got a big old piece of wood. That looks broken. Well, it looks more broken now. So broken lever. Yeah, so broken lever, not gonna work in there. Interesting. Okay. What else can Momo help us with? Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo, what can we do with broken lever? So you reckon the cave that Hans and Anna found is round here? You wouldn't know where it is exactly, would you? I mean, the you? boat cave looks disappear. pretty sus. Anna say nobody find it. Disappear. Psst. Like magic. Caves don't go disappearing like that. It must yeah. be hidden by something. That's all. Momo like playing hide and seek. I think that's just as well. Momo? I've got to go now, but see you later, maybe. Did the cave really disappear? Because to my eyes, it looks like it's right here. I can't go that way. Hmm. Kate can't get her shoes wet, guys. Okay. We've got a use icon here. Can we use the broken lever on the boat? <laughs> Ugh, that oar is all dirty and wet. Did you see that? It's basically, so with the broken lever, she's basically just using it as a reaching stick. Ugh. That oar is all dirty and wet. Okay. Just don't even just don't even worry about it. Ugh. That oar is all dirty and wet. So what? Do we need a pair of gloves or something? We don't have anything else in our possession that's gonna be particularly useful. Straight up. Hmm. 
Yeah, something's not quite right. Something's not quite right. It's like we used the, that ore's all dirty and wet. So we used the broken lever to fish an ore out of the water. But we're not even able to pick it up because it's wet. I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't feel correct, you know. Like, what are we missing here, then? No need to go down there. There's no need to go down there. The notary's not going to be helpful. Although, have we been into the basement of the notary yet? No need to go down there. No, okay, fine. Hmm. Shoot, I really did think asking Momo for help there was going to be the trick. Like, I thought that was no going need to, to go do down the business. There. So, what are we missing then? So, we've been to the hotel. The church we've done. The only thing we needed from the church was the voice cylinder. The factory... One, two, then it's train station, and then it's a uh, house with hedge maze, although we can only get into the attic. I'm back again. wonder if we can this ask around about the cave. Do you know if there is a cave near here? Hmm. I've never heard of one, but maybe in the mountains at the foot of the cliff. Who knows? Mm -hmm. There's a train at the station platform. Can you tell me where it goes? No idea. We don't even know if it works. I thought it was some kind of prototype. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring mm. down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but... Just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. Huh. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. We could ask Oscar for help, maybe. I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. Yeah, maybe let's see what Oscar has to say. And uh, if Oscar's not forthcoming with anything terribly useful, we could try the church again. Although I think we pretty thoroughly smashed through the church first time. Right, Oscar's going to be up this way by the train. There's a member of cleaning staff in here. Maybe we could ask them if they could uh, clean up the, uh, the wet and dirty ore. Or offer us a pair of cleaning gloves. Couldn't hurt to ask, right? Okay, Oscar. It's me again, Oscar. Hello, Kate Walker. Give me some Oscar, help. 
If you were in my shoes right now, what would you do? My reasoning mechanism does not permit me to manage problems outside the mandate of my own functioning. Wow. Did you hear Anna Vorlberg talk about a mysterious cave? No, Kate Walker. Really unhelpful. Are you the only automaton on the train, Oscar? I have been designed to attend to all tasks relating to the smooth functioning of the train and the comfort of its passengers. Okay, okay, Oscar. I don't doubt your talents for a second. Don't think for one moment that I'm mm. bored of you, Oscar. But I have to go. I also have much to attend to, Kate Walker. Yeah, tricky, tricky. Like... We can't even talk to this guy. Who do we even have that we're able to have conversations with? It's like, it's Oscar, Momo, the person in the hotel. Winding up the train. Great. I mean, that's going to be like a necessary step for later. But, uh... There might be like... Oh! We're getting a phone call. Kate, it's me again. Dan, I was going to call you. Oh, Dan, yeah, don't even. Yeah. Are you this mad better be me? an apology. What? They told me you weren't expected to return this week. Oh, yeah. So when are you coming home? I don't know. There's nothing I can do about it. The situation is kind of tricky, you know. At the beginning of next week, I hope. Yeah, whenever. Dan, please. Wow. Just hang in there, okay? Wow. The stakes are higher than I thought. And you know how much I love this job. I suppose it's neither here nor anywhere to you that the Goldbergs are going to... It is. I mean, it isn't. I mean, Dan, this really isn't the moment. You know I'm thinking about you. I love you, sweetheart, and I'll give you a call when I have some news. Ditch this deadbeat. 100%. I've got to go now. I've got kind of a, a train to catch. A train? Where are you off to now? This is crazy, Kate. To tell you the truth, I've no idea. Love you, honey. You know that. Kate! Like, genuinely, genuinely, what? Dan, gen I thought this was like, Dan, this had better be an apology. Her opening gambit is, are you mad with me? What? What? Are you mad with me? He's got no reason to be mad. Damn. Yeah, don't even at me, Dan. I'm gonna block your number. All right. Oh, but the Goldberg account. Oh, it's it's worth millions of dollars. It's like... Dan, toughen up, mate. Toughen up. It's like, you don't see our hero, Kate, wandering around going, Oh, how am I going to get the contract signed on this... On this automaton factory without my fiance Dan here.
Okay, we're going to check out the church first. Oh, actually, no, wait, we can talk to that guy. That guy has some dialogue. Hello again. You can help me if you, you can have use your walking stick. Sit and talk. I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. Mm. I am sorry. I I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, savage. Wow. Like, oh, if you've got five minutes to talk to an old man. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm in a hurry. Yes, I did come over and start a conversation with you. No. I'm not planning on sticking around. Lol. Is there anything over here? This looks like it might be a path that goes somewhere, but it does not. Okay, so there's kind of like not very much there at all. Uh, the other path leads to the crypt where we got the voice cylinder, so I don't think there's any point checking that direction again. That goes up to the uh, the loft. This goes into the sacristy. really not very much in the loft. There's not very much in the sacristy, to be fair. There's certainly no people to be able to have a conversation with. Um, where does that door go? No point. It's locked. Right, but like... Can't you unlock it from the inside? Hmm. So yeah, so we've already done that drawer, we've already moved that thing. The tabernacle there doesn't isn't uh, an interactable object. Maybe we're, like, missing an object. Maybe there's something we're supposed to have picked up at some point that we don't have in our inventory. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to have, like, an entirely duff episode, right? Because we literally only just started, right? So I think if I don't find anything obvious within the next, say, five or ten minutes, then I think we're going to go and try and find a hint. I didn't think there was... There's nothing else in the factory. None that I can recall seeing, anyway. There's no other part. And there's no one to speak to in the factory. Okay, let's try the upstairs in the hotel. Like, if we can get a hand towel or a pair of gloves, we can pick up the, uh, the old wet, dirty ore. I mean, the ore's longer, so you'll get more leverage off an ore than the broken lever. Who would have thought we'd get stumped by a... <laughs> by a piece of wood being a bit too wet for Kate's uh, peel? You know? No need to go down there. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's going to let us into any of the rooms. 
this side this side corridor no need to go down there feels like it should be something and I stopped for a moment there as soon as I saw this bucket with this stick but it's not interactable. No need to go down there. So why? No need to go down there. Why is it there? Hmm? Just set dressing. No need to go down there. Come on, you've not got any luggage or anything? Have you not got, like, an old rag? You know, that you don't mind getting a little bit dirty? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit stumped. I'm a little bit stumped. I can only assume that we must have missed picking something up at some point. I'm back again. So Ms. let's Walker. just have a quick chat with him again. So Anna Automaton Cave, Momo Train, Hunt's Help, Mission Kate. And he's already said he's not going to help us. I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. Okay, my friends, I think we're at hint clock, okay? So this is going to be hint counter equals one. We're going to go and ask for a hint. I will be right back. Okay, you guys probably know <laughs> where we went wrong there. But okay, like, again, so I went on to Universal Hint System. Great website, incidentally, Universal Hint System. Um really really good way i i should make sure to go there to go get my hints for one shot right because whenever i've tried to look up one shot hints so far all i've found is answers but so i i've kind of got the answer um like it's a hint but it's a hint which is like oh yeah okay the, the hint is is there someone else you can ask for help and i'm like oh we're supposed to ask Momo again, right? So we use the thing to pull the ore a bit closer. Kate doesn't want to touch it because it's all wet and dirty. You're supposed to go back to Momo and ask him for help again. Like, don't know why we didn't think of that. Probably because we've literally just asked him for help. But then we went round the town asking literally everyone else for help. Momo would have been fine to help us a second time. So, uh... Yeah, that's that's all we needed to do. Tell you what, Kate is the uh, the hint system. Universal hint system describes the situation as oh, but Kate's being awfully picky, isn't she? Yeah, I'll say she's being awfully picky. Like oh no, that oh oh, it's a little it's a little wet and dirty. It's like oh man. Can't believe I thought to go all the way back to the hotel to see if we could find a rag. <laughs> or a pair of gloves. Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Help, please. I've moved the ore nearer. Be a good boy and carry it for me. Momo say yes. <laughs> Great. Okay. Yes, Momo, carry my filthy stick for me. Yeah, shake off some of the excess filth. Yep, 
He's just wandering off with your ore, Kate. You didn't, I don't think you actually told him to use it in the sluice yet. Did you? You might have done. I might have just not been paying attention. Do we now ask him for help another time? Momo, I've got something else I want to ask you. Momo listening. Can you help me, please? What do? I need a hand opening the dam. Momo say yes. Momo strong. All right. To be fair, I'm going to go and say that this is the first puzzle in the game that I actually don't like, you know, because asking Momo for help to open the sluice mm -hmm. Momo very strong. is Thank you, Momo. functionally identical to asking Momo for help to open the sluice. He breaks it, you take the broken piece, use the broken piece to get another long stick, hand the other long stick to Momo and ask Momo for help again. It's like he kind of done the same puzzle twice. Um, and the only thing that connects the two attempts is you use the broken piece from the first attempt to go and fish out the piece needed for the second attempt. Like, I don't know. That just do It just doesn't... That doesn't seem like a very satisfying puzzle to me. Let me know what you think on that. Okay, we got our climbing gear on. There it is. Anything else here? No. Let's get to that train. This is Dan, I swear. Hello? Kate? Is that you? Well, yeah, Mother. who did you think it was? Uh, I didn't recognize your voice, that's all. Must be the distance or something. So, spill the beans. What's mm, your okay, no, like? This is a friend. You lucky lady, you. Honestly, I never get that kind of break. Well, so far all I've seen of Europe is this tiny village, and frankly, they're not very hospitable. Oh, the whole oh, case really? is getting really complicated. There's this surprise heir I've got to find. I know. I talked to Ren who bumped into Josh and she had coffee with the head honcho this morning. He didn't sound at all happy. The client's meeting him tomorrow, and when Marston tells him that the sale's not even gone through yet, whoa, you're going to be pleased you're on the other side of the ocean when that bomb goes off. Yeah, I get the picture. But so, how about yourself? What's up at work? We lost the Sarah Lou trial. I worked five months on that dumb case. I remember. So, for a bit of therapy, I went to Boomies. The sale started yesterday. Wow, lucky. It was absolutely crazy, Katie. Absolute Come on, walk and talk. You know that blue silk talk. top I wanted? Guess how much I got it for. I don't know. 250 dollars $200? $140. <laughs> What? Just get yourself this back is, here and I'll go down with you. This is like you. 2002. Like it's my choice. Look, I gotta go. Call me soon, huh? I want a blow-by-blow -blow account of every moment of your great adventure. Get out of here. Look after yourself. You too. Yeah, I will. Wow, maybe I should have been an M&A lawyer. I mean, if you're, if you're just throwing out numbers back in the early 2000s as well... Guess how much that silk thing I bought was. And as an opening gambit, she's just throwing out numbers like $200, $250. In 2002, or whenever this is set. Like, like that's a lot of money now. Then again... She's the kind of lady that doesn't like to touch wet and dirty oars. So, you know, maybe maybe this is like a real fancy pants protagonist. OK. 
Okay, no need to speak to the notary again. Okay, I think we can put the mammoth somewhere in the uh, Cave of Wonders over here. And once we, uh, once we get the mammoth into the Cave of Wonders, I think the train is going to be ready to depart. Okay, here we go. Right. Uh, do we want to talk to Oscar first? No, I don't think we talk to Oscar first. I think we just go and try and put the mammoth there. I don't need that for the time being. Nope. We'll take it with us once we uh, find out where Hans is, because Hans clearly is going to want that. It's me again, Oscar. Okay, let's Hello, go, Kate Oscar. Walker. Why aren't we setting off, Oscar? I must abide by regulations. Your ticket, please, Kate Walker. Oh, what? Who Don't are giving you my ticket? I also ticket. Right, everything is in order then. The train is finally ready to leave. I am most terribly embarrassed. Such oh. ignorance on my part is inadmissible. I hope you still have confidence in my abilities, Kate Walker. Please return to your seat and we can leave. Finally. Yay, we did it, gang. We are on our way to Siberia, presumably. own all of these railway tracks as well. Like, surely you need to speak to... Maybe Oscar's handling all that. Is Oscar talking to the, the Central Railway Authority in these countries to make sure that we're, you know, we're legit, we can use the tracks? Mm-hmm. Hey, well, we've arrived somewhere. Where are we, Oscar? At the halls of residence of Barockstadt University. Barockstadt. And do we really have to stop here? The situation is incompatible with the pursuit of our journey. What are you waiting for, then? Wind them up. Find a way. There must be some sort of train winding thing just laying around in this weirdo station. <laughs> I have seen nothing that fits that description, Kate Walker. I guess we'd better find out, then. I do not like this station. The atmospheric humidity is detrimental to my sophisticated wheel workings. I will wait for you inside the train. <sighs> Wimp. 
Okay, so we need to find something. Oscar, we have a serious problem. To, uh, How can we carry up? on our journey if this train doesn't want to budge? What are our options? Every clock has its key, Kate Walker. Keep looking. Well, I hope you're right. I'm going to go see what I can find. Okay, seems like a pretty... Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. <laughs> oh, Oscar's funny, isn't he? Um, okay, we need to find a thing to wind up a train. Uh, so, we got something just appeared in the top right hand corner there. Oh, birds. Right, we've got a new thing that we can uh, talk to people about, and that is birds. So we have a path here, we can go over the station platform. Oh, where do we start first? Well, we've got to start by just exploring, right? So this very much reminds me of like Temperate House at Kew Gardens, right? Incredibly large greenhouse. Can't go that way. This will be where someone in the comment section uh, corrects me and sort of says, "Well, actually, Temperate House is in like Richmond Park or something." You know. I'm pretty sure it's Kew Gardens. Okay, so we can't go that way. Let's go over the bridge. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, double bridge. Fancy. Fancy. Ah, uh, maybe we should have done everything on that one platform first. Oh, hello. Hello. You arrived by train, I see. Yes, I've Your pal's come from observation Bellevue. serve you well. It's been a long time since I've seen a train here. Students, did you bring students with you? No, I traveled alone. Well, almost alone. I remember around the start of fall, trains would bring kids from all around the world here to study zoology and botany, paleontology, and all that stuff. This was a great university. And it isn't still great today, then? Uh, Today. Is this is this like Hogwarts or something? Huh. Hidden University. You don't know where I might find equipment to wind up my train springs, do you? Well, not in this station, that's for sure. And I would know. You might want to try near the wall. So, uh, thinking of staying for long, miss? Only as long as we need no. to. I mean, I don't know actually. One or two days tops. You see, I've got to wind my train back up so that I can continue my journey. What we need to Just find is a wind-up merchant. If you stay here too long, I might get in trouble. The train should stop and leave again. That's the rule. Besides, your machine's disturbing the birds. Maybe you could take me up to this wall? If there were two of us, we could find what I need to wind up my train even quicker. Uh, miss, forgive me, I, I gotta stick by the rules. You know, I have to man the station. I don't want to get into trouble with my superiors at the university. Uh, you understand? Wow, All okay. these birds in a station. It's amazing. There's no ordinary <laughs> station, miss. Oh, no. Clearly, you've never seen the these pigeons around are London. The prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly your typical station master either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. Mm -hmm. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa. It wasn't a good idea? Terrible idea. A nightmare. You know cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now, oh, is they cuckoos are the cockatoos? eggs out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? Accursed cuckoos. Nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? 
the faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological what catastrophe. mechanical eagle do? You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on wings in the air. It passes through and it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Right, let's Why fix not? the eagle then. I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling <laughs> up in the nests. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store, big trouble. So I'm worried. Yep, worried. Okay. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barrowstad, Miss. What do we have here? Then? It's a hook in the shape of a question mark. Initially, I thought it was literally a question mark. It's like a, what is this? But no, it's a hook. Okay, let's try the other side of this platform here. The aviary has just an exit down some steps. Oh, we've got mammoths over there, though, if we take the bridge further. But let's continue this way for now. I want to see what's over here. What is that, though? That, are, that must be, like, the university proper. Over the river, though, this town has clearly seen some better days. That thing looks like the winding machine I used in the Valadilen station. I've got to find a way of getting the train up here. Huh. Yeah, we got a thing here, a big propeller. Can we get over to the other side? It doesn't look like it. Not that that is seemingly going to stop Kate from trying, but it uh, doesn't look like she can do much from there. Wait, where are you going, Kate? Oh. Right, yeah, okay, because we're up on that platform. Can we get to that building from the other side, then? So it doesn't look like there's a way across there. Yeah, now it's towards the camera this way. So let's hop over the other side of the train and explore it from, uh, from that way. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Come over here, please! I have something to say to you! Sure. Wow, it sounds urgent, whatever it is. Hello, Oscar. Yes, Oscar. What is it? A message has arrived for you. From Dan? A message? You have been summoned to see the rectors. They are the highest authority at the university. They want to talk to you. 
Talk to me? Yes, to the person responsible for the train. So, I'm in charge now, sure, okay. But why would these gentlemen want to see me at all? They do not say why, just that it's very important. Alright, we'll add that to the list. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Siberia. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Next time out, we have got plenty more of the university to explore. We're going to start on the opposite side of that train, going up that catwalk, maybe having a glimpse of that eagle, maybe get a hint as to what we need to be able to fix that. And we're going to try and walk down that platform to see if we can enter that building, which was on the other side of the railway tracks from where we were. After that, we're going over the bridge, and we're going to go into the university proper, meet the rectors, have a look at some mammoth statues. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I will see you next time. Have a great week. Bye for now.